Okay, so we're going to talk about how to do a mail merge now. It's really quite simple once you get used to it. Uh, what a mail merge does is it prints out all your letters with each person's address automatically filled in so you don't have to type them in manually, okay? So the first thing we need is our list of people that we want to send letters to. And uh, this is what it looks like when it comes out of uh, FileMaker, which uh, software is included in your package. Um, it has the name, the mailing address, the city, state, and zip. It has the property address. It has the county that the property is in. And it has the drop dead date, which is when the owner will lose the property. Now, some of you, if you're working tax delinquent lists, or if you're in states that don't have a firm drop dead date, um, that row will be blank and you'll just have to tweak your letter so that uh, it doesn't make reference to the date that the uh, owner is going to lose their property. So here's our list. The first thing we want to do is put uh, names for each column on there. So you'll click on the number one here and you'll right click and put insert. That'll give you a new row and let's just name everything, anything you want. Owner, address, city, state, zip, property, address, county, and drop dead date. Okay, and let's save that. And then we're going to go over to our letter. And I have the skeleton of the letter already written. I've got my contact information at the top. I'm going to want to put their address right about here. And then it'll be in the right spot if I want to use a window envelope to stuff my letters with. Um, I can also just use a plain envelope and put a label on the front, but um, you know, you're going to want to have the owner's address on the letter and make reference to which property you're talking about and fill in some other custom information. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, you're going to want to find the mail merge wizard on your Word. Uh, if you're in Word 2007, it'll be under Mailings, Start Mail Merge, Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. If you have Word 2003, um, the Mail Merge Wizard will be available from uh, another menu item at the top. Okay. So first thing we want to do is put the owner's mailing address here. Uh, and here's the wizard over on the right. It asks us what kind of document are we working on. It's a letter, so that's good. We'll go to Next. How do you want to set up your letters? Use the current document. That's what we want to do is use the document that's open right here. We'll select the recipients. We want to use an existing list. And we'll go next. Wants to know what file we want to use. So we need to find the file where we saved the uh, spreadsheet just now. And I believe I had it right here. Okay. Those look good there. It's going to put the name, city address, zip all of that in there. Okay. Going to go to next. We're going to want to put more items. That's usually the easiest way to do it. So it wants to know what field we want to put here. Well, we want the owner name first, so we'll insert that. Okay, then we'll come in the letter. We'll, we'll close that down. We'll come in the letter and hit enter, so we're on the next line. We'll go back to more items, put the address. Close it. Hit return again. Go to more items, and we're going to want to put the city, the state, and the zip all in one line. And I'm going to come back and put a space in between each one so it's not all running together. Now the letter starts reading, I'm writing to give you a heads up that a recent search we did at the blank county courthouse. This is where we want to put the county name. So find county in here, insert it. And this will insert Jefferson in the case uh, my illustration here. Showed that a property you own was sold at tax sale last year and not yet redeemed as of 4-9-2009. So that's just how this letter reads. Uh, you'll want to put whatever is factual for your area. You could say uh, a search we did at the Jefferson County Courthouse showed a property you own had a tax lien sold against it uh, some time ago. Or you know whatever your situation is, write your letter accordingly. 
Um, now, in the case that you have a firm date where you know the owner's going to lose the property, you'll probably want to put that in the letter, and it says, do you have everything taken care of? If the property is not redeemed, tax is paid by, and here's where the date goes in, then I'll automatically insert the date from your spreadsheet. Tax buyer will be able to apply for a tax deed from the county and you'll most likely lose your ownership. Uh, another thing I like to do is let's put a like a regarding line, regarding, and we'll insert the property address there. Okay, so now we go to next and we preview our letters and that looks very good. The address and the name and the city, state, and zip are all look good there. It refers to the property address and it inserts the county name and the drop dead date if we had one. Okay, so now we complete the merge and when we go to print the letters we can print all and all 215 letters will print with the different names. Now, you know, if we preview our letters, you can go, you can use this button and see all the different letters, how they're going to come out. And everything looks pretty good. So that's how you do it. You complete the merge and you simply print and your letters are ready to go.